We begin at five with a Target 12 investigators exclusive. Everything is being taken from her. It's been 36 days since the first day of school at Ponagansett High, and Tracy Miller's daughter, Isabella, who has special needs, hasn't attended a single class. Her mom says it's all come down to an issue of money and has been fighting to get her daughter back into school since they moved to Johnston. Target 12 investigator Sarah Grinelli has the details. Tracy Miller says the Johnston superintendent offered to pay $30,000 for Isabella to attend the high school where she's been going for the past three years. But she says the Foster Gloucester School District is asking for nearly four times the amount and the financial gap has her daughter stuck at home. Isabella Miller has spent three years attending Ponagansett High School where her mom says she has flourished in school and on the unified basketball team. Will you tell me why? It's meaningful for you to be able to go back to this school as a senior. Because I like all my friends that are close. And they understand they you. They understand. She feels like she's comfortable there. They accept her. They've known her for many years. Tracy, Isabella's mother, says she moved from the school district in January to Johnston, but has wanted to keep her daughter, who has special needs, upon against it. That seems to be the only reason why my daughter's not attending school is because of money and it should be what's in the best interest of the child. In Rhode Island, if a student transfers from one school district to another, the money follows the student. This happens most often when a student goes to a charter school or a specific school program. Isabella is currently registered to go to school in Johnston, but her mother says it wouldn't be good for her daughter. She's had a doctor's note stating that it is um, very important that she stays where she's familiar because of her autism. When you have autism, change is difficult. Um, they don't like change. They like schedule, they like routine. According to Tracy, the Johnston School Department has offered to pay $30,000 to transfer Isabella to Ponagansett. However, she says Ponagansett has asked for $117,000 to make it work, creating an impasse. Children falling through the cracks, especially with special needs. She's already fallen. She's already gone through the cracks. Tracy says the fight to get her daughter back into school has added stress to her family and her daughter has been struggling with severe depression and anxiety by not getting the education that her mother says she deserves. As a mom, how hard is this for you to sit here day in and day out while your daughter isn't in school? Heartbreaking. Um, to be honest, is nights I just cry. Um, I feel like I'm not being the mother that I should be, even though I am fighting every possible way I can for her. I reached out to the Rhode Island Department of Education and both school districts all declined to comment on Isabella's situation. But according to Tracy, the state and the local school officials are having a hearing to talk about the problem next week. With the Target 12 investigators, Sarah Grinelli, 12 News.